There are many fine dining establishments in South Africa that charge more than 1,000 rand per dinner per person. It's simple to get sucked into the hot right now buzz in Cape Town, where fresh eateries pop up even faster than you can down a tequila. But the city's food culture is much more complex. Every new city offers a chance to sample delectable foods from many cultures, and Cape Town is one of the contemporary era's culinary capitals that warrants a place at the head table. How is that possible? The menus and recipes mostly include fresh, regional products, and South Africa's cultural melting pot infuses all of its elements into its cuisine. If you're picking up casual street food or sitting in a chair for some gourmet pleasure, Cape Town's greatest restaurants are a delight from beginning to end. Eating until you are full is among the many wonderful things to do in this place. Number 10. Aubergine Aubergine, a hidden gem in Cape Town's Gardens District, is a true institution. Dining here is similar to dining at a discriminating friend's house because it is situated in the historic limits of a warm 200-year-old private house with modern farmhouse architecture and a wonderful courtyard patio. If that friend also had a stellar reputation for creating classic dishes with a contemporary twist, it is the crowning achievement of German chef and entrepreneur Harold Bresselschmidt, who began his career at establishments like London Savoy. His menu, which is based on traditional methods, is a tribute to South Africa's abundant natural resources. But the intriguing part is how he deftly incorporates global flavor into such a framework. The end result is a vibrant cuisine that ranges from a la carte and summer small plate lunches to an East meets West degustation menu. It is nourished by two organic kitchen gardens. Expect an abundance of flavor in everything from the beef tartare with miso fermented egg and daikon to the lamb with white bean puree, carrots and fennel and local fish with turmeric and saffron cucumber. The outstanding wine list, which supports everything else and features a display of tiny producers, intriguing champagnes and old South African bins, has been accorded the respect it deserves. 9. Beyond Beyond is the next masterwork from the team between award-winning Cape Town Eatery's Greenhouse and FYN. It is located in a glass-enclosed dining room amidst the rolling vines of Castancian's Winelands, the hub of a new wave of culinary outposts. Pete Templehoff, Ashley Moss, and Jennifer Huget opened it during the first year of the pandemic, and it embodies a culture of provenance and simplicity that enables beauty of high-quality products to speak for itself. In a similar vein, Chef Julia Detoit forgoes frills and decorations in the creation of modest, unadorned foods supported by regional farmers and small producers. The end result is a succinct yet vivid account of local terroir as seen through the prism of global impact. In addition to being served with roast onion pansu, miso mayo, and shiitake mushrooms, ostrich carpaccio is also charred over coals. Other dishes include Kalahari beef filet with wild radish flowers, fermented chips, peppercorn cream, and dill hollandaise, as well as cape fish with tomato risotto, coastal plants, and boyabasa. Number 8. Chef's Warehouse at Bue Constantia The exquisite tapas-style meal that gained its name in the first central Cape Town restaurant is elevated at Chef's Warehouse thanks to its breaking vistas over the Bue Constantia Boutique Wine Vineyard. Ivor Jones, a native of Cape Town and head chef at La Colum and the Test Kitchen, prepares a set menu of nine tapas plates for two in the dining room, which is housed in a contemporary glass cube with an outside patio. Jones seems to be able to work magic with everything from Sandana Bay oysters laced with chili threads to springbok with blood orange. Of course, the paired wines are excellent. 7. Chorus Restaurant at Waterkloof Wine Estate the most recent project of celebrated chef Bertus Bassen is particularly ambitious. A futuristic glass dining room with a panoramic view of the Waterkloof Wine Estate and nearby False Bay. It just started operating in October 2022 and only offers hyper-seasonal four- and six-course menus, with each dish showcasing the finest ingredients on hand and, of course, coupled with Waterkloof wines. A milk, bread, and honey souffle for dessert is served with recipes like crisp confit chicken with langoustine, sweet corn, and peas or raw tuna with apricot, almond, chili, and Jamestown herbs. Don't miss the classy lounges offered cocktails by the fire while you're there. Number 6. Finn Restaurant 
One of Cape Town's most daring addresses is located in a hulking industrial building with a cloud of wooden discs suspended from the ceiling. Peter Tempelhoff's goal is to blur the lines by understanding South Africa using methods that are heavily influenced by Japan. While the rest of Kaiseki-style multi-course menus are saturated in ingredients like candied ginger, tempura nori, and Japanese plum, canapes served with little bento boxes feature things like prawn crudo with dashi mayo and grilled shishito peppers. The leading explorers for Finn are Peter Templehoff, Ashley Moss, and Jennifer Huge. With 22 years of expertise, Peter is the dreamer who makes this vision a reality. Ash contributes tattoos and grunt, and Jennifer organizes the troops to provide assistance the way the French meant it. Unafraid, inquiring, and demanding. Number 5. La Colombe One amongst Cape Town's most acclaimed and celebrated restaurants is La Colombe. Modern French and Asian fine dining, La Colombe is the grand dame of Cape Town dining, taking patrons on a gastronomic journey in an invocative, treehouse-like setting atop the Silver Mist Wine Estate after a move from Constantia Witzig in 2014. The swoon-inducing delicacies of Chef James Gag are presented in a minimalist setting with a color scheme of muted tones. Consider smoky Cape Malay snacks, tuna la colme, a confection of microscopic yellowfin tuna in a tin that includes avocado puree, microherbs, and an umami-rich broth, and the intricate, expertly balanced work of karu lamb. 4. Pier This contemporary whitewashed gem, located inside the Pierhead building, has a superb view of the boats that dot Cape Town's famous quayside. A frequent entry on the world's 50 best restaurants list, Castanche's La Colme concept sees John Norris Rogers take the reins in the kitchen. The multi-course meal, which is weaved with global subtlety and kept together by technical skill and the finest ingredients, features a lot of seafood in line with the region. It is a current example of gourmet food that consists of 11 exciting dishes. Nothing on this menu is overly seasoned. From the wonderful amuse-bouchet of salmon, horseradish, and dill to the tableside poached oysters, to the smoked mussels with chorizo's paprika smoke, and toasted yeast umami and the soft crayfish tortellini with pork jowl and spiced coconut. Along the way, a nitrogen poached calamansi seems to refresh pilates. The dishes are given the attention they deserve in the simple, elegant dining room, which is further enhanced by the food imaginative presentation, exquisite ceramics, and brilliant color schemes. Number 3. Salsify at the Roundhouse There aren't many locations that can compare to this Camps Bay location, a national monument given a new lease of life as one of Cape Town's greatest eating places, you'll find this intimate, modern restaurant amid the historical curved foundations of an old 1700s guardhouse. Caressed by the Atlantic and with a lion's head as its backdrop. And it's hardly surprising given that Ryan Cole and Luke Dale Roberts of the Test Kitchen are the dynamic duo behind it. Cole is a maestro of understated taste who infuses power into every bite inspired by nature that leaves the kitchen. Six to ten dishes give you the chance to sample the best of the area in an unassuming and lighthearted way. The best in contemporary presentation is highlighted by dishes like slow-cooked duck with pear hoisin and duck fat hash browns, smoked springbok with puffed sorghum, and grapefruit cured sashimi with hibiscus pickled radish. Number 2. Tali. With renowned chef Liam Tomlin at the lead, this contemporary Indian restaurant in Cape Town is truly a global enterprise. Tali, which opened in 2016, two years after the chef's warehouse, drew inspiration from Tomlin's trips to India and offers masterfully spiced set-sharing dishes with vegan and vegetarian options. With the spiciness increasing as the courses go, snacks might include a sweet corn and kale bahi with black garlic aioli in addition to some fusion-inspired items like the masala duck taco. With no reservations accepted and a potential wait, the chic industrial setting also features a courtyard for all fresco eating and a separate cocktail bar for pre- or post-dinner cocktails. Number 1. The Greenhouse the Greenhouse, located inside the magnificent Cellars Hohenort Hotel on the eastern slope of Table Mountain, combines top South African produce with sophisticated European technology. Menus are intended to tell stories about regional ingredients and their provenance. 
it is evident the diners are in for something unique from the appetizers, which include Muse Farm vegetables such as heirloom aubergines, hakuri turnips, marog, a South African spinach, and maple pickled pumpkin. Plates like the caramel smoked duck, cape octopus, and steamed blue prawn combined unusual presentation with skilled preparation. Which of the amazing restaurants is your favorite and why? Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome updates.